this is uh, Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, you are inside my world, uh, the Lamb Room. Uh, I think the last video that we did together, not the last video, but I did a unboxing of the Power Edge R720. Pretty excited on that because it's a new toy. Got to rebuild it from the, you know, from scratch. Uh, uh, I think on the last video I told you guys that I'm gonna be doing a RAID 5 with terabyte hard drives. Uh, we actually got one terabyte hard drive that I'm going to install the operating system on that. Do the RAID 5 on the additional 5 hard drives uh, and install the operating system and do all that good stuff. But the first thing that you need to do before you start installing and configuring the RAID and all that stuff on your new server is you got to mount it. Now, uh, Dell was nice enough to give us, not really give us, but you got to actually purchase the rails. Now, this rail some mechanism. I want to show you guys this mechanism right here. It's actually attached to this guy right here and it's supposed to make it real easy that with the newer models of the rack systems all you guys do is just plug it in, snap it, and that's it. Uh, that's not going to really work. Uh, for the Why is because these little guys right here uh, don't fit our current uh, rack system. You know? And we're not going to just purchase uh, a new rack just for this server, so we gotta make it work. So I, I, I was able to remove this little bracket out of this system right here, awesome. I already placed the right one, and the left one I'm gonna do it with you guys, and uh, you know, rack, rack the server. Uh, I'm using these screws, these little type of screws, you've probably seen these in the past, so that's pretty awesome. And always follow instructions. A lot of people get confused with this because you gotta make sure it says left front. The other one's gonna say right front, left front, and the right front is in place. So let's get started. Uh, I think I am on, on top of 31. And so, So the back is done. Uh, I did two screws in the back, and I normally just need one screw. Uh, the reason why I'm not putting two additional screws is because it's not really aligned, but they are kind of aligned, so I'm gonna try to get two more screws so I can support uh, the server. So I got the additional screws. <laughs> I got those bad boys. Uh, it's always best practice that you put at least Two, four, six, eight, eight screws in all. Each bracket should has at least four of them, two in the front, two in the back, two in the front, two in the back total, or two, four, six, eight, eight screws in total. Uh, the reason why you want to have some good support, especially if you have one of these Monster Beast Power Edge R720s, because they are a beast. So I kind of recommend having a longer Phillips screwdriver uh, because when you have this short foot of screwdriver, it's really hard to actually get in there when you're in the back of the rack, especially the back of the rack because you got all the cables, you got the power cables going on crazy and stuff. Uh, so let me do the last one, and then we could uh, we could take out the big boy and rack it up. Once I rack it up. Uh, that's it for me. Then I believe on Monday I'm gonna power it up. Uh, power it up, install the operating system on the first bay, I believe bay zero, which is the terabyte hard drive, and uh, insert the additional hard drives in it. Go inside the RAID BIO setting. I think it was, I think it's the RAID, the RAID software. And then configure it, uh, initialize all the disks, configure it to a RAID 5. Once I do that, uh, operating system should be up and running. I gotta push out all the updates. I mean, when you when you install a new server and you install the operating system, it's best practice that you push out all the updates. From, I mean, all of it, all security, .NET framework, uh, patches, everything. Okay. So this is good to go. It looks like. 
looks like the rails are good to go. It's pretty sturdy. These guys normally have like a little mechanism right here for you to push back in. You gotta make sure it's working. Because <laughs> it's not going in and out. It's not a good thing, I guess. has come. Uh, racks are here. I'm going to try to put all this cabling a little up so I'm going to get some of this rack. And see. Use this. There's a couple of these. And these little guys. I'm just going to put all this stuff to the side. Instructions again. I did the unboxing with you guys uh, not too long ago, so it's the same, same, same thing. Box. with someone especially yes please do this with someone if you, if you don't have the experience of mounting these big machines by yourself please have someone with you i should have someone with me doing this but because i'm very stubborn uh it's not gonna happen so hopefully i don't crash and fail before you even insert anything, make sure your screws are stabled. Uh, you got enough screws on each side. The mechanism, as you saw a little earlier, the left front mechanism was having a little bit of problems inserting. Uh, you gotta make sure that you align the server to these empty slots, because that's where you're gonna insert it, and then jerk it in, and huh, hopefully we should be done. So let's, uh, let's begin. So the way I like to do it is like a pizza pie, hold it like a pizza pie. And here, kind of line joints together. There we go, that's, that's good. Again guys, do not try this by yourself, seriously not recommended. Only reason I, I like doing it is because it's being done right. But I really, really recommend you guys doing it with someone. Please, please do it with someone in your job. Don't do it by yourself. As you can see, there you go, there you go, there you go. Excellent. Then I can just jerk it. There we go. All right. So, oh, it's a lot of work. Again, that's why you got to make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight has to be in the slot secure. Again, this is really, really not best practice. Going underneath like this is really dangerous. If you're gonna go underneath, just make sure you hold it. Uh, I'm just making sure all of them are in, and they're in. So it's time to press these two buttons right here. Make sure there's no cables around it that get stuck and jammed. And I'm just gonna slide it in. Hopefully it goes in with no problem. And with my luck, there we 
they're in. Oh, Woo. awesome. Give everyone a clap. That's pretty awesome. I'm super excited. It is inserted. 720 is inserted, so it's pretty cool. So yeah, I am super excited. We got the Power Edge R720 inserted by ourselves. Again, I really, I can't stress this enough, guys. Please, if you're gonna, if you're going to rack a server this big, this heavy, please have someone with you. The only reason that I did it with you is because I'm used to mounting these heavy duty servers by myself. Again, when you're a, a two-man crew or one-man crew dealing with stuff like this, sometimes you have to do it. You just have to go gun ho. Uh, hopefully on the next video, guys, I am going to show you uh, how to insert the extra hard drives in. I'm going to bring you into my world right here in the little corner uh, where I have my terminal workstation. Uh, we're going to boot into it, install the operating system, get the RAID up and running. I just want to show you guys what I do every day, what I love so much, and what I love showing you guys what I do. Uh, and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.